Hello Sagittarius, it's Crystal Rose Insights here to do your May 2018 general reading. First off, I want to just say a huge welcome to anyone new to my channel and a huge shout out to all of my, all of you guys that are here watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting on my videos. Um, each and every one of you really helps to hold the space for this channel to be a place of empowerment and positivity. So I want to thank each and every one of you for being part of this. And um, a huge shout out also to all my private clients, those of you that do readings with me, those of you that do live coaching and guidance sessions with me. I'm really, really inspired by each and every one of you for the work that you're doing on yourselves and to be able to be part of watching you transform and grow and really embody who you are at a soul level in a very powerful way is just so beautiful to me. So thank you for that. Um, real quick announcement. So we're going to be uh, looking at the energy of Sagittarius. This is going to be for sun, moon, and rising signs. Please do look at your other um, planets in your chart. You might get some additional messages. And uh, real quick, starting May 1st, I'm going to be having a new structure to my readings, new pricing, new everything, just because we're having to shift and evolve the channel uh, based on really what's been working, what hasn't, and um, how much time and capacity I have to be able to do these readings for you. So if you've been wanting to do a reading or if you want to do another reading with me, um, if you place the order before May 1st, uh, then you'll be grandfathered in with the old pricing and structure. Um, I'm still not completely set on how that's going to change, but um, that would be a good time to do it now. And what else? What else? What else? Yeah, so um, with that, this is an optical calcite that's here for Sagittarius. So this is about allowing to see things in the multidimensional aspects of what you're facing. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful stone. In fact, I have another one here. It's a little bit big. It's a lot bigger, but this one wanted to be here for, for the reading today. So if you want to look up the metaphysical properties of optical calcite, there will be some messages coming through. So I've already connected to my guys and I'm calling in my Ascended Masters and Archangel Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and my divine support team here to support this reading for the highest good of all. Now this is a general reading, so with all general readings, there are many of you watching and this is important to just take whatever messages resonate for you and the ones that don't make sense, they're just intended for somebody else. Um, the only way to get a real clear reading specifically tuned in for you is to do a private reading. And we're getting the Ten of Wands, so some of you may be in overwhelmed Sagittarius. There's this energy of like having too much on your plate. Some of you might be just in this point of burnout. So um, anyway, that just jumped out. So um, if that's you, Sagittarius, it's time. Let's talk. Let's we'll see what's going to come up for you in terms of some advice and ways to navigate through this energy of overwhelm. OK, and it goes because you guys are fire signs. So things, you know, you like to be fiery and quick and get things done. But sometimes it can just tax you and, and, and you might need to take a little bit of a break and a little bit of a nap. Okay, so let's see what's coming on for Sagittarius for May. And we're going to get into also some messages about abundance, some messages about love. We're going to get into a couple other things. But overall, let's see what's going on with Sagittarius this month. We're getting the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Devil. Interesting. And at the bottom of the deck, we get the Three of Swords. So this is the energy of grief, of heartbreak. This is of kind of taking, taking stock of of what, uh, you know, having had a broken heart in the past. So some of you may have things coming up in the month of May that are either triggering you or reminding you of past heartbreaks, or maybe it's a fear that you're needing to release because I'm seeing this devil here. It feels like this is part of the fear that's coming in for some of you because some of you might be getting an offer of love. There might be somebody here offering their love for love to you, but you're scared. It's freaking you out. It's making you scared that like the same thing's going to happen again. Um, and you know, the three of swords is an energy of grief often, you know, in this, in this depiction of three of swords there, it's, it's, it's kind of an older wound. So something going on for you go in May might be bringing up an older wound or just reminding you of how far you've come since heartbreak or having your heart broken and how much you've grown. So we'll see what's coming up in the rest of the cards. But right now we're getting the seven of pentacles, which is, this is the energy of, um, 
gestation, seeds well planted. Um, you've done a lot of really good things in the physical plane. This could be in relate relation to love. It can be in relation to career and finances and family life um, in the physical plane, which is, you know, you've, you've done some really good things. You've made really good progress. Things aren't quite coming to fruition yet. Whatever that is that you've started, that you're hoping for, that you've worked towards, you know, the energy is that it's it's moving along, it's progressing exactly as it should, but there's st it's still not quite ready to, to manifest yet. And for some of you, this very much may be love. This could be a water sign in your life. This, this could be um, just this offer of love and this, not even an offer of love, but more of somebody who's willing to step up and be a, a, a really solid and grounded and... Um, kind and loving lo uh, relationship partner but there is this energy of fear of doubt of um, you know temptations potentially this could also just be the illusion of being trapped or that like you're not really in charge of everything but it does feel like it feels more like you're just some of you may be in May having somebody who's around you maybe you've been in relationship with them or you've been thinking about them they're starting to come to fruition and maybe you're like friends turning into lovers, whatever that is, but the energy's here, but it is still bringing up a little bit of this devil energy, the fear, you know, the fears that hold you back, but the fears are an illusion, okay? The fears are an illusion because we've all had heartbreak in the past um, and this energy of grief is here from the past and that's what's bringing up here with this new offer. It's somebody new in your life is making you like you might be excited, but then all of a sudden you're getting triggered, okay? So let's see what else is going on here for um, Sagittarius this month. And this is going to be, oops, sorry. <laughs> um, my daughter's taking a shower and she just yanked the uh, shower curtain and it made a super loud noise. And now you're probably hearing the water, so I apologize for the background noise. But so is life. Okay, so let's see what this what um, message Sagittarius has relating to abundance. Now, abundance can be material abundance, financial abundance, but it can also be an abundance of happiness, of love, of peace. So let's see what message is coming through for Sagittarius relating to abundance. And we're getting sever the vows of poverty. So releasing these fears, releasing that there's not going to be enough, or releasing that like you can't have it all says, Dear One, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you have made, consciously or unconsciously, in any lifetime. As you do so, the effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So this can be vows of poverty when it comes to finances, but it can also be vows of poverty of not feeling like you're worthy of love. You're not worthy of this offer of, uh, not or this offer of love, but you're not worthy of this partnership, um, a solid partnership from a leadership perspective. Like just like being the real deal. He's not the rookie. He knows what he's doing. And again, this could be male, female. It doesn't matter because the energy is the same. It's just like there's a solid offer of love coming, um, emotional fulfillment, happiness here. But it's bringing up these fears, and and spirits asking you to just let go of the fears of not have like not being worthy or that it's not real. Because it does look like there's really good energy here from the Seven of Pentacles. So, and again, um, it could it could be. I feel like it's relating the poverty um, consciousness is about love. Like you're like really, it's never worked out before. Why you know? So let's look at what's important for Sagittarius to um, surrender and let go of in the month of May. Okay, because this is all a journey of what do we need to move forward in in faith and what do we need to surrender. So let's see what Sagittarius needs to surrender this month. Surrender stress. It says, take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. This is causing you to get off center. This is about being centered and solid. This emotional energy is causing you a little bit of off kilter that's bringing up the fears, but it says let go of the stress. Just let go of any place in your life where you're feeling stressed, or you're feeling uncomfortable, or you're feeling like something's just taking your energy that doesn't, that like is draining you. So this is just saying like deep, deep breath, 
let it go, um, come back to your center. If you're getting off center, come back to center in the month of May. You know, and the stress obviously could be financial for you because this is financial um, abundance too, like financial things happening. Maybe you've been digging out of a hole financially and you've got, you know, you've got some things happening, you've planted some really good seeds, but it, you just haven't quite seen the results of it yet and you're getting a little scared, okay? Because again, this is intuition, this is emotion. So we do have a scenario here where this could relate, be relating to love, but it also could be relating to um, finances, career, uh, physical um, abundance. So we're getting a couple different storylines here because the energies are similar, but it could be applying to each. So take what works for you. So let's look at what's going on for love, Sagittarius in May. And we're getting deception right under the devil. So it's interesting. So the deception is, I feel like this is a self-deception So someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. So it could just be that there's some energy if you're in relationship or you are wanting relationship or you're, you know, you're in committed relationship. There's some energy of somebody not being comfortable or capable right now or willing to really show who they truly are. And that's because of the deep seated fears. It's coming right under this devil card. So for whatever reason, cause this isn't the devil energy is an illusion. It's an illusion of power. These people are tied and tethered with these chains, but they can just easily take the chains off their necks. They're not actually trapped. So it is an illusion. So there is an element of letting go of some illusion here. It could be that, um, Again, self-deception or where in your life are you are you putting on a happy face when you're not actually really happy and what's happening there and what's what's that bringing up for you? But I guess what's saying what you know, there is abundance here regardless the, the main message for Sagittarius this month is abundance and not letting fears um, and old fears and old pain uh, keep you stuck. Okay, so Spirit's really asking you to take a look at what that means for you specifically. So now we're going to get um, advice from Archangel Michael for Sagittarius for May. What does Michael want to say to Sagittarius this month? Michael, what's your best advice for Sagittarius, please? <clears throat> saying romance angels are helping you so it says dear guardian angels of my soulmate thank you for preparing my soulmate and for me to love and for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes and for arranging for us to meet and helping us recognize each other and having the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship so there this is a definite romantic situation coming in here for you for some of you um, Sagittarius like very very strong energy but it's asking you to step up as to who you truly are and not to be afraid of that, okay? So this could be potentially soulmate um, energy coming in um, because when the romance angels are supporting you, it's really about a, like a bigger relationship. And then, you know, if it's not specific to a relationship, if it's more career related for you, it's still showing up in that um, this is about making healthful life changes so that you can shed these fears, get rid of the self-deception. What do you really want, Sagittarius? What is it that matters to you? Where are you in your life showing up where it's like, you know, I'm kind of over this stuff. Like I want this and this and this, like I haven't been showing up like that. So whatever it is you're doing in preparation right now, it's all going to eventually lead to a happy, fulfilling, romantic life because you are showing up as your true self you're showing up authentically and you're not showing a false mask because a relationship like I always I always said this to my girlfriends since I was a teenager I don't again I know I was channeling back then but I didn't know I was channeling and a piece of advice I always gave my friends is I said you know what a lifetime is a long time to um, put up an act it's like show up honestly and authentically with who you are uh, because that only lasts so long, like you need to be able to be truly you. And that is part of the journey that we're all on here. So with that, um, I am actually going to head over to Vimeo and do my love readings for the month over there. This is the general reading. I'm actually going to do all of the May love readings over on Vimeo. So if you want to check those out, um, the information is going to be down below. 
Um, but this is the reading. There is definitely a, a, a huge energy of love and relationships here for you, um, Sagittarius. So um, with that, if you guys want a private reading, get really specific on you. Information's down below. I would be honored to help support you and bring you messages from spirit that are for your highest and best. So until next time, an abundant love always. Bye.